Yo YouTubers, how's it going out there all my homies, you alright? Those of you who watch my videos and listen to me sense and sensibility, without judging, without pointing the finger, without No, oh, Bruce is up to this, Bruce is a deceiver, Bruce does this, Bruce does that, if you don't like it, don't watch, okay? Get off my channel if you don't like it, beat it. Alright, back to the phone. I've got 20 minutes or half an hour, but 20 odd minutes to just show you something, one of my oldest possessions in my world, one of the most sacred possessions I own on this planet, right? Me four wheels. Me four wheels. We're not talking about a Mercedes. We're not talking about a BMW. We're talking about this. All you boarders out there, you know, this is for the boarders. <laughs> boarders, B O A R D E R S, boarders. Skateboarders, you know, skateboarders right now. You wouldn't believe I've had this skateboard. Man, the history of this skateboard. I've had this skateboard. <laughs> Like, I invented grunge. Do you understand? I invented, like, your guitar strings. I didn't invent grunge because I wanted to. I, couldn't, I had no choice. I couldn't afford new strings and stuff like that. You know, when I was younger and I had a, a cheap guitar that sounded terrible. And we used to play... I, I, I've, I've put some examples of how bad I used to play, like, when I started, how crap it was, right? So, crap music, crap guitar playing, and skateboards, you've got the whole border culture, haven't you, right? Like Nirvana, I bet you, I bet you Kurt Cobain had a skateboard. <laughs> right. <laughs> but this is the original, right? Look, man. See, it's got Sex Pistols on it, right? And I've had this since it was about... Ooh, well, man, how old was I? 16, 15? Not sure, right? And what happened in this country, I'll try and be quick because it's gonna um, I've only got twenty odd minutes on the on the high def right. But these are original Kryptonics guys. Any of you skateboarders out there, right? If you're a skateboarder, right, you'll know what a Kryptonic is, right? These are original 1978s, man. This is the real deal. And they don't seem like they move, look at that. See that one? That goes like big time, look. Cryptonics from America, man. And what's this one? They don't appear to move. But this is the fastest skateboard I've ever been on in my life, right? So if you go on down a hill on this thing, it's dangerous, mate, right? And you know when you do catamarans where you join with other people on their skateboards? This takes the other skateboard the same speed. That's how, like, like mad it is. It actually... You know, I've, I've raced against other skateboards and that when I was younger and this was just left everyone behind, right? It's, I think it should be in the Guinness Book of Records as the fastest skateboard on earth, right? Right? And you see the riser pads? All you boarders, you'll love this, won't you? You know what I mean? All the anoraks, all the neeks, all the, get, all the um, you know, nerds, the geeks, neeks. The nerds and the geeks will love this. You see the riser pads? You know, this is what we're talking geek here now, aren't we? Like, riser pads. <laughs> you know, it's fiberglass, right? And the story behind it is, um, the, the first skateboard craze happened in, in England about 1976, 77, didn't it, right? And we all had crappy skateboards. Mine was crap. Mine was this plastic thing with crap wheels that wore out in five minutes. The bull bearings wore away everything, right? Yeah, I was a boarder. I used to be a boarder. Right. And then after the skateboard craze ended, everyone went off them in England and there was like no one knew skateboards for a while, right? And I can't remember what the, the craze was after that, like. And then a little while later, there was a shop in town in Birkenhead called British Home Stores, right? And they had this sale on and they got loads of these in. Now, these aren't the original wheels. I'll tell you all about it, right? The original wheels on these were those crappy transparent red things, you know, they were a little bit smaller and everything. And there was no riser pads on it, right? 
And what, what happened was the shop in town, this shop, all these kids suddenly appeared in the streets with they were on these skateboards, right? And we went up to them and we were going, What's going on? Where are all these skateboards coming from? And they were going, they're going for 99 pence. They were only 99 pence in British home stores, but they were limited stock. They must have been old stock that they couldn't get rid of or something, right? And they, they you know. So all the kids were going mad in town. It was like a relaunch of the skateboard craze, right? Everyone was going into town to buy one of these skateboards for 99 pence, right? Now, at the time, my mum was absolutely skint, right? We were really poor, you know, when I say we, we were like, you know, like Ethiopians in, the, in a drought or whatever. We were, but we didn't have much money to spend, you know what I mean, right? And I always remember going up to my mum and saying, Mum, I need 99 pence so I can go and buy a skateboard, right, for 99 pence. And she didn't understand what I was saying, that, like, they were limited edition, though, they were only going to be there for a while, you know what I mean? I don't even know why I wanted one, really. You know, I, I, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Like, a, I don't know. <laughs> On the spectrum or something, I don't know. But anyway, I, I asked her for 99 pence and she said, I haven't got any money. You know what I mean? She didn't have any money to spare whatsoever, right? So I begged her, I was like, oh, come on, woman. This is the only chance that I'll be able to get one of these skateboards for 99p, please. Which is a pound in, you know, 99 cents, 99 pence. Do you understand, right? And... She only had a pound in a purse, which was meant to be to buy some food for me dad for his tea, right? <laughs> and she goes, I've only got this pound to buy, you know, your dad's tea, you know what I mean? And I was like, can't you think of something? Can't you, like, make something else for him for his tea or whatever, like, you know what I mean? And he was quite fussy, me dad, he, you know, he, he insisted on certain foods or whatever, right? And she was like, no, and... And I, I, I wouldn't leave it alone, do you get me? Like, And my mum was like, if you wanted something bad enough, she'd give it to you, you know what I mean, right? But anyway, I begged her and begged her and begged her, and eventually she went, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll give him this and that for his tea or whatever, and she made this some kind of makeshift meal for that night for him, right? So she gave me the 99 pence, I ran to the shop, and there was only a few of them left on the shelf, right? And I picked this one up, Jet Skater, right? Fiberglass. And, um... I came back and it was crap, you know, the wheels on it were crap. And, if you you know, it was just a typical cheapy skateboard, really. But the board is, you know, it's, it's, it's about the time that I've had it, really. It's not really worth money, is it, right? And then when I bumped into this kid and I had this skateboard lying door, I stopped using it because it was that crap, right? Because the wheels weren't really fast, right? And, like I say, you look close. Any boarders out there, you know what Kryptonics are, you know what I mean, right? But these are actual American ones from 1978, guys, you know what I mean, right? And I haven't even oiled them for years, I mean. Right, anyway, I seen this kid in the street, right? And he had a skateboard, like a proper wooden skateboard, right? That was from America, with all the, you know, the sandpaper on the top and everything, right? And he was, you know, he was a younger kid than me, you know what I mean? And he somehow managed to break the skateboard. And it, it, was, it was actually from the States, you know, someone that he had a relative in Birkenhead that sent him it from the States, right? You know, and they were like gold dust in, in England, these kinds of things, you know what I mean? You couldn't find them, like, at the time. 1978, 79, I'm not sure the actual year, right? But anyway, this kid had a skateboard and he broke one of the things there, you know, that, that, that bit had snapped. You know what I mean? So it was kind of whirling round, the wheel was loose, that the, the whole cam thing was moving, you know, the, the, the axle was moving around, like. So I did this swap with them, I said, can I have that skateboard and I'll give you these toys or whatever, I can't remember what I swapped them. And he went, yeah, so he gave me the whole skateboard. And I gave the skateboard away to someone or something, I can't remember what I did, you know what I mean? But I kept took the wheels off it, which are these. And the, the riser pads, and the riser pads, as any geek or skateboarder will know, what riser pads do is if you turn a corner, you know, when that bends down and you turn a corner, the wheels will touch the, the actual board and stop the wheels moving if there's no riser pads. So I had to put the riser pads on, and you know, because the bigger wheels, right? And then if, so I customised it basically, I customised it like, and I wrote the Sex Pistols there like, you know, like instead of Nirvana or whatever, you know what I mean, the kids are like, Nirvana, this was about 1970, 79 I think it was, right, right, and honestly, me and my band, when we used to rehearse the band, when we, and we were really crap, you know, we were, you know, it's quite comical really, you know, the recordings I've got, but we used to go skateboarding, you know what I mean, and we used to do, you know, the other lads would have another skate. We have two skateboards usually. 
And this thing used to drag the other skateboard like the same speed. It was that fast. It was weird, honestly. And I haven't been on it for years. I've never used it. I've never been on it, right? And what I got into it was so dangerous. This thing was so dangerous standing up, right? I had to lie down on my back on it to have fun. And you know, lying down, you know what they call, um, what's it called in the Olympics? You know, when they lie on the backs and they go on the ice. It was like that, I used to be able to go down hills on this thing and like reach ridiculous speeds, it was quite dangerous, right? So one day I'm going to go on it again, like I'm going to do a video, uh, you know, like a music video, I'm going to use it on a hill somewhere, you know, like a steep hill and film it like and see how fast I can go, you know what I mean? I have a camera on board, I can have, I've got a little camera on the front of it like, and I, I don't stand up on this thing, guys. I, I dare anyone. It's like it is like anyone dares to stand up on this on a steep hill. They're, at, they're risking their lives. Basically, it's so fast, right? So I just thought I'd show everyone this, right? And yeah, the kid actually got his skateboard from America, and I, and I took these wheels off. And look at that, mate. It's original. They've been on it ever since, right? Now, my mum, when I, as I grew older, you know, I became an adult and I grew out of these things, like. My mum would say, why don't you give the, you know, I had nieces and I had like, you know, uh, nephews, niece, whatever, like, there were kids in the family growing up all around me, right? And my mum would say, why don't you give the skateboard away? You don't need it anymore. And I'm like, mum, I'm never going to part with this because of that last pound. You know, she gave me a last pound to buy it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even had to, had to sort my dad out with something else to eat. So that's why I never, ever parted with it, really. It's not because I love skateboards. It's not because I'm a skateboard maniac or anything. I hardly use it, you know. Well, I'm 56 now, you know what I mean, right? But to a border, to a geek, you know, this is my four-wheel vehicle. You guys out there, you're getting used to cars. You're getting used to, like, I don't know, whatever engines you drive, you know what I mean? Four-wheel drives, Jeeps, Range Rovers and everything. This is my four-wheel vehicle, you know what I mean? I've still got it. I've had it since I was a teenager. Teenage dirt bag, punk rocker, right? And like I say, I don't, I never ever parted with, never gave it to any of the kids in the family. I never, I, I just wouldn't part with it because of the last pound my mum gave me to buy it, right? So it's like a little souvenir, I suppose, you know. But hopefully, I'm gonna do a video soon. I'm gonna actually lie on my back on it for the first time, and I don't know since I was a teenager. I'm not sure, like. And I'm going to go skateboarding on, on some steep hill and I'll film the speed of it. I'll do a, um, you know, video test with the camera on the... Go past the camera and see how fast it is, right? <laughs> but I honestly think this thing could be the fastest skateboard in the world. I don't know. I might be wrong. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you the history. And it's one of my most prized possessions, you know what I mean? This to me is like, it's a toy, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's one of my most prized possessions. And, well, if I have to use it as a getaway vehicle one day, you know, no one's going to be able to stop me on this. <laughs> so, yeah, just for any skateboarders or boarders on YouTube, I'm sure there's lots of boarders. I haven't checked, you know, I've got to check the boarders how, how um, well, there's a lot of kids going around on them, isn't there, still to this day, like, but grunge and all that kind of stuff, like, it was probably born in this skateboard, you know what I mean? And we all know, all them bands, they were all influenced by the Sex Pistols, weren't they, you know what I mean? On the front of it there, there's an old British Leyland badge there, like, you see the badge there? It's like, British Leyland it used to be, like, <laughs> like a car badge, you know what I mean? So yeah, I customised it myself, it's my work, you know, it's like my hot rod, I suppose, this is my hot rod, right? So there you go, just a brief history of one of my most prized possessions, Brucey's old jet skater, skateboard, not for sale, I wouldn't sell this for anything, but if any boarders out there, if you'd like, you know, because... <laughs> I want to be buried on this. You know, if I ever get, you know, if anything ever happens to me and I'm in a coffin, I want to be buried lying down on my back on this skateboard. Do you understand? All right, guys, I'm getting off. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Real Cryptonic, guys. These are like collectors' items, aren't they? You can buy them. They just started reissuing them. I've, I checked on eBay. You can buy Cryptonics. They're exactly the same. Based on these things, you know what I mean? Well, see the way they, they move and the other ones don't. Two of them don't move. They seem like they don't move, do you see? 
that one moves a bit. Right, you think that there's only one wheel that moves like it should when you freewheel it. Cryptonics, USA, 1978 I think these were made. So is that a collector's item? Most of these are worn down, aren't they, or whatever, or broke, or the ball bearings have gone, or whatever, like, but, yeah. I just thought if anyone was interested. Alright, I better get off in case I go over the 20 odd minutes. That's why I'm talking really fast. So yeah, number one on a dog. We've even got a skateboard. That's my four-wheel vehicle. No petrol required. Okay, thanks for watching.